The family of retired FBI agent Robert Levinson is desperate to find him, of course. Levinson vanished almost five years ago in Iran. His family believes he may be held there. They've just released a video of him that was emailed to them about a year ago. Experts have studied the video frame by frame, but found little, if any, clues as to Levinson's whereabouts. CBS News correspondent Bob Orr has more on the deepening mystery. Please help me get home. It's the first public evidence in nearly five years that former FBI agent Robert Levinson may still be alive. I am not in very good health. I am running very quickly out of diabetes medicine. The tape received by the government and Levinson's family last November was posted on the family's website Friday. I need the help of the United States government to answer the requests of the group that has held me for three and a half years. The FBI says Levinson vanished in March 2007 on Iran's Kish Island while working as a private investigator on a cigarette smuggling case. The Iranian government has repeatedly denied holding Levinson, and sources say diplomatic efforts have produced no hot leads. On the tape, which appears to be heavily scripted, Levinson calls his captors a group, but does not identify any country. His son David doesn't know who is holding Levinson, or what it will take to get him home. I am sending this message because we need to know what you want our family to do so that my father can come home safely. Levinson's kidnappers have vaguely demanded the release of, quote, prisoners, but U.S. officials say it's not clear who they're talking about. Plus, there's no guarantee that Levinson's still alive. The tape's a year old, and there's been no additional proof offered. Bob or CBS News, Washington. Joining us now from Davie, Florida, is Robert Levinson's wife, Christine. And here with us in New York is former New York Times reporter David Rode, who was held hostage by the Taliban for seven months when he was covering the war in Afghanistan. He is now a writer for the Reuters News Agency. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Christine, I'll begin with you. Can you give me an idea of what your reaction was when you first saw this video about a year ago? Uh, my reaction was that um, I was very, I, I knew it was Bob right away. Um, as soon as I saw him and he spoke, I knew it was Bob. Um, I was dismayed by the fact that he um, had lost so much weight and was looking so sad, um, but at the same time determined to come home to us. Yeah. Um, and I was happy at the same time that he um, was alive. You held on to this video privately uh, for a year. Was that tough to do? Yes, very tough. And we sir, want this case resolved, and, and of course we want it done now, but we have no control over how quickly we can get it done, and that's why we're uh, trying to get it out now. I understand. Hey, Christine, are you satisfied with uh, what the U.S. government is doing to try to find out where your husband is and free him? Yes. Um, the FBI has an open case, and I believe they're doing everything they can to try and find him. Southwest Asia is a very difficult area. Christine, do you, you think that what this is going to come down to is you and your family actually establishing some sort of dialogue with his captors? Yes, that's the whole goal of uh, putting this video out. We, and, and the plea, we have tried to contact them, but we have been unsuccessful um, mm -hmm. in receiving any kind of reply from them. So I continue to press for a reply, and I think this is the best way to make sure that they get in touch with us. David Rode, I'm going to bring you into this. How likely is that? How tough is that for a family like Christine's to negotiate directly with these folks? Uh, to be frank, it's virtually impossible. They, you know, there was this vague mention of prisoners. The family doesn't control prisoners. Um, in my case, the initial demands for my release were it was a crazy amount of money and prisoners. Um, I was able to escape, so I was very lucky, but I just feel absolutely terrible for them. The family doesn't know what to do. Do you, do you keep it private? Do you go public? Mm -hmm. And I think that releasing this video is really a desperate effort by them to try to create momentum in this, in this very sad case. Christine talked about the health of her husband when she saw him, he had lost weight. How important to the captors is the health of someone that they have? I, I think they, it, it's very important. I was treated very well. Um, he lost weight, I lost some weight, but they will keep you alive because they see you as this sort of valuable commodity they're trying to sell. So I think there's an excellent chance he's alive, uh, even though the tape is a, is a year old mm -hmm. and there should be you know, tremendous efforts to try to, to help him and his family. Do you have any advice for Christine's family at this point? Um, be patient. Um, they do consider him very valuable. Um, I do think he's still alive. Um, 
but just try to get through each day. Um, in the end, there isn't that much they control in terms of you know having this case end. Um, and I'm sure he is just trying to get through each day, and he feels terrible for what the family's going through as well. Um, and they just need to sort of, it's hard to say, but stay at it and, mm. and be positive. There, there can be, you know, a resolution in these cases, and, you know, someday he will come home. Christine, in many ways, of course, this has been a, a roller coaster for you and your family. How do you get through this? What are you doing? Um, just like he said, it's one day at a time. Every morning I wake up and hope that today will be the day that I get him home. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet. Christine Levison and Davey Florida and David Road here in New York. We thank you both. Thank you. Christine, the best of luck. Thank to you. you.